This video is about reversing the distributive property by factoring, also known as factoring out the greatest common factor. So let's do a quick review of the distributive property. Remember, multiplication can be thought of as area. So if we're going to do 3 times 2x plus 5, we could set that up um, as an area model with the length being 2x plus 5 and the width being 3, and then find the area of each rectangle. 3 times 2x is 6x, and 3 times 5 is 15. So when you distribute, you would get 6x plus 15. Okay, so let's look at a situation where we're going backwards. We have the expanded form, and now we want to factor this. And we're going to do that by using the backwards distributive property. So the solution, or the product, goes into our um, area. I'm going to put each term in the area. Whoops, not 14x. So negative 4x and 12. So we have an area of negative 4x and we have an area of 12. So what we want to do is think about what is going to multiply what times what is going to give you negative 4x. Well, I'm going to get a negative 4 and an x. Negative 4 times x equals negative 4x. So then the area of this rectangle is 12, and I know one side has a factor of negative 4. So what times negative 4 equals 12? And that's going to be 3. So this is 3. So when we're factoring, we're trying to find the length and width, and we're given the area. So think about that. This is the area, and you're trying to find what times what gives you that area. So the final solution, length times width, the length is the x plus 3, and the width is negative 4. And I like to write uh, the single number in front so it doesn't look like a minus 4. And there you have it. Negative 4 times x plus 3 is the solution to that. Okay, so let's uh, look at the next example. Again, this is the area, and we need to find the length and the width. So we're trying to find the length and the width of our rectangle. So we're going to put each term. So the area of this rectangle is 6x. The area of this rectangle is 24. So what you want to do is figure out what times what equals 6 times x. We do have some options, but I'm going to try 6 and x. So one side is x, the other side is 6. And then what times what gives me 24? Well, I know one side has to be 6. And then that would have to be 4. So the length times the width would be 6 times x plus 4. I actually don't need these parentheses. There's the final answer. Okay, next. 
this one, we have a quadratic. We have a squared term. And if we want to factor it, this is 2x squared. This is 6x. So what we want to do is we want to fig figure out what times what gives me 2x squared. So I'm going to put um, 2x times x gives me 2x squared. So 2x and x gives me 2x squared. So one side of, let's see, let's see, one side of this rectangle is 2x, the other side is x because 2x times x would give me 2x squared. So we know that this side is 2x. So what times 2x would give me 6x? And that would be 3. So the width is 2x. The length is x plus 3. So that is the final solution. That is the factored product. And again, width times length. Or length times width, it doesn't matter. But usually I put the single term, uh, the monomial first, and then the uh, binomial or trinomial next. All right, so that's it for this uh, video. You can call, text, email me, or uh, send me a message on Instagram. I look forward to hearing from you guys. See you in the next video.